There's the 16th hole and so many great views of this incredible place, but that's one of them. It's something that George Kittle and Kirk Cousins really appreciate and enjoy. And I felt bad because you guys had to be quiet there while we were watching those guys, but you were given a few golf claps. Of course, the new Atlanta Falcon here, the quarterback of the Falcons, and George Kittle, tight end for the San Francisco 49ers, recently playing in the Super Bowl. What does it mean to be here? Oh, it's a thrill every year. My wife's from Atlanta, uh, so now that we're playing for the Falcons, it's even easier to get here. But we try to get here just about every year we can and kind of set our calendars around the week of the Masters. It's, it's a special place and a special week. Yeah, uh, just have you back second year in a row. Uh, watched a lot of good golf last year. I mean, what an atmosphere. Um, just a huge fan and just thankful to have the opportunity to be here, especially with Kirk. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, I love it. You guys are spending some extra time together. Kirk, what are your memories of watching the Masters even growing up? Yeah, I remember, you know, growing up north in the Midwest like George did. Masters week is kind of the first sign of the golf season getting started and the first sign of spring in the air. You know, you turn on the TV, you see the azaleas blooming mm -hmm. and you're like, OK, we're turning a corner here up north and the snow is hopefully behind us and we've got some great weather ahead. So uh, we appreciate it for that, but also just for the great golf and the dramatic storylines through the years and just the iconic nature of the traditions of the Masters that you can just set your watch to every year. Mm -hmm. wow. George, have you played here? Before? Played? No, no, just watched. Have you played here, Kurt? I have been able to play here. Must How'd be it nice. Go? Uh, okay. <laughs> We're gonna work on okay. that. We've got to get George out here at some <laughs> point. But uh, I'm okay. I'm not a great golfer. Like I haven't played a single round this off season between my Achilles rehab and figuring out where I'm playing. I just haven't been able to get out. But um, love to play when I can and and uh, plan to get better in the years ahead. I love it. it. George, do you have any memories of watching the Masters growing up or even recently? Um. You know, I mean, like just being here for the first time last year, like that was a memory for me that like, I'll never forget, um, especially like the tree fell down last year. That was an experience. I was like, oh, wow, that was great. Were you close to it? Uh, we were like a hole away from it, I'm pretty oh, sure. That was, yeah. that was an experience. Um, besides that, I mean, just like all the, he would talk about the dramatic storylines that go into, you know, Saturday and Sunday. It's just, it's so much fun. It's just, it's just such an event. And it's something that we, me, me, me and my family watch every single year. You know, you both love golf. You and your wife, Julie, brought, bought a golf course. That's right. Talk yep. to me about how much golf means to your family. And <laughs> it looks like a beautiful course, by the oh, way. Oh, thank you. I checked it yeah. out. Yeah, we uh, built our home in my hometown in Saugatuck, Michigan. And I was driving about an hour to play a golf course that I loved. It was the highlight of my summer. But I was driving an hour there, an hour back. And I looked at my wife. I said, this isn't sustainable. We could either move or if we like where we live, maybe we could bring the golf course to us. So I started asking some questions around town and a course that was only a few minutes from our house. The, the longtime owner was was open to selling it. And I said, what if I bought it and just kind of held my place in line and maybe when I'm done playing, we could tweak the course a little bit. So he agreed and uh, that's what we did. We bought the course and I got some dreams down the line. I don't know if I can ever make it look quite like this, but I mean, certainly there, there are goals and that's that's kind of the ceiling out here. If you could get close, you built one in your backyard. I got, uh, I have like five or six holes. Uh, they're all par three, par fours, but. That's a nice setup. We get out there every single day after a nice workout and swinging. Uh, you play the whole course with a six iron. It's really nice. You know, just a lot of chipping. I'm working. I got to get some greens down there, but uh, hopefully, you know, in the next year or two, I'll have a, a nice, nice nine holes. We got to keep playing football well, and all of our dreams will come to become reality. You know, speaking of that, you have and you do, and everybody's excited to see what you bring to the table with the Atlanta sure. Falcons. So many great pieces in that offense, and I know it's something that factored into your decision. Yep. What are your expectations of coming to a new team and? hopefully leading them to a championship. Yeah, our family's excited. You know, we, we um, uh, have been now at work for two weeks, you know, because right. we started early with a new head coach. So really enjoying getting to know the teammates, really good guys, talented players and, and talented coaches. And so I couldn't be happier about where we landed and where we are and, and what we have to look forward to. But this, this, everybody's kind of looking up at the Niners right now in the <laughs> NFC. So if we're going to go anywhere, we got to get through this guy and his and his group. You know, George, you have continually been so consistent and such a great piece of this offense. You guys have been so fun to watch, and you run into the Chiefs in the Super Bowl, mm -hmm. but I know that's got to be a motivating factor for next season. What do you think this team's mindset will be heading into another opportunity to be really, really good and at the top of the NFC, to Kirk's point? Um, stay healthy, just continue to do our jobs, you know, just try to get a little bit better every single day. You know, Brock Purdy's a fantastic quarterback, and he's only going to get better because he's young. 
Um, and we were fortunate enough to be able to keep our entire offense so far, um, which is you know, that's really beneficial when your whole line stays together. Everyone just gets used to playing to, next to each other. So we're just hoping that our offense can take another step forward. And then, you know, deep inside the ball, and when you have Nick Bosa, Fred Warner, Hargrave, uh, Traveris Ward, you know, we, we have a pretty good defense over there too. So hopefully, uh, you know, we just keep playing at a high level and we'll win some more games. One of the special things about Augusta is all the traditions, the yes. food, the concessions, pimento cheese, chicken salad. Where you at on? Yeah, I'm, I like the uh, the peach, the ice cream cookie. Oh yeah, with mm. peach ice, peach flavored ice cream. I think that's hard to beat. But you name a tradition out here, I love it. Yeah. I mean, it is just the best. Um, like I said, we kind of just. Set our, set our calendar around Augusta National and the Masters Week, and, and we just admire the traditions, whether it's from afar, ordering the food, mm. you know, to have at our house right. like that, or coming here. It's classy. <laughs> that's, that's a nice move right there. You gotta have the full experience, right? That's right? But the good thing is you're here, so you really get the full experience. Have you tried any of the food, the, the ice cream sandwich? I've gone through all of it. I'm actually, I'm a, Every fan, single I'm thing. a fan of the beer. It's very tasty. That's a good <laughs> option too, right? <laughs> I, know, I think they started selling at what, 9 or 10 a.m.? Yeah. Last year I made sure, you know, we were part of the, one to try to get it first. That was an experience. Okay, I love that for you. But but you need food <laughs> with it too, right? Like yeah, no, I'm, uh, let's see. I Someone told me I needed to combine the sandwiches. And yes. so I did the cheese with the chicken salad. Wow. That was nice. There you go. It was a good touch. So if you're if you're watching at home and, and you think about this going forward and you didn't know that little tip, these are the great things that you learn on Welcome to the Masters. I tried I tried pimento cheese. I did yesterday I did chicken salad and I also did ham and cheese mm. and then I also had an ice cream sandwich. And, and the key and is you did it all for about five bucks. I did. There, <laughs> it's that's amazing. What it is. <laughs> exactly, uh, Kirk. I know you family is such an important part sure. of your life and. I'm curious about your thoughts on just the way that family and tradition, as we've yeah. referenced, matters here sure. in Augusta. Oh, well, a big reason why I purchased the golf course in our hometown was my boys. Mm -hmm. And I have a dream that when I'm done playing football or even in the summers when we're off while I'm still playing is that we'd be walking those fairways and spending time, quality time together as a family while playing golf. Yeah. And, and while I love the game of football, I played basketball and baseball growing up. I wish I played more golf <laughs> than I did growing up. But uh, golf is a sport that we can really relate. I love people, love being around people, and it's just a sport where you can be active and play, but also build relationships at the same time. And it's hard for me to, to meet somebody on the first tee, play four hours of golf with them, and not be great friends mm. by the end. Mm -hmm. And so uh, I love playing golf with anybody and everybody, build relationships, and uh, certainly coming out to the Masters here with George is a great way to do that. What's your plan today? What, what are you guys seeking out throughout the day? You know, I got to find, uh, I'm going to follow Zach Johnson, my, fo my Iowa. fellow Iowa guy. Love it. And then uh, Taylor Moore, someone I, you know, play video games with him randomly for time to time. <laughs> No idea why, but uh, so I'm going to follow those two guys around and uh, eat some more sandwiches and hang out with the wives and whatever Kirk wants to do, really. <laughs> I guess I call the shots. You guys have so much fun. Enjoy today. Thank you, Laura. It's so special to be here. Yeah, we're thrilled to be here. Thanks for joining us here. Absolutely.